Hey y'all. Okay. We got storage. We got foot. So we got footage. Let's talk. Yeah, this is what this is day 18 of the detox tea and day 16 of the Hollywood hair bar. Okay. First thing I want to say is this is still you know this is slowly, it's like slowly right up in here. This is starting to go away. And this is slowly from like here starting to go away. It's this that's still the problem area. But what I will say, I'm starting to have at least two to three bowel movements a day. So it's like the more you use it, you're going to poop about two to three times a day so that's getting out all the toxins and another thing i wanted to say yeah you gonna have a lot of gas <laughs> a whole lot of gas when you use this detox drink so just get used to it okay doesn't always mean you're gonna have to pool you're gonna have a lot of gas you're gonna you're gonna feel you're gonna feel that in your stomach sometimes it could be you got to do number two and poo or you getting ready to release some gas. And when you fart, it's going to be stinky. You going to feel your body letting out all them toxins. You going to be like, dang, it's getting rid of that. So, yeah, I could see a, not much difference. Just a slight, but not much. And not much at the back. But it's the slight differences. I'll take that versus it just not moving. Because I could feel where it's much looser. Like, this is much easier to grab. Like, right here is like, ow. You, you see, it's still that stubborn-ass fat right there that just won't. But above here, you can grab more. So, it's like the upper is going. The side fat is going. This, this side fat is going. Lower fat is slowly leaving, but it's this right up in here, fat right around the belly button that's just like, look, I ain't trying to leave yet. Well, damn it, your ass is going to go, and when that goes, it's going to be gone, and I don't welcome that shit back. Now, let's, like I said, it's day 18 of the detox drink when i come back wednesday it'll be day 20 and it'll be okay so today is day <laughs> today is day number 16 with the hollywood hair bar and when i come back wednesday it's gonna be day 18 so y'all know i'm gonna give y'all the tea as what's going on look y'all if you can oop let me see how can i Zoom and more so y'all can catch that. I know y'all see that. Look at all the dandruff. All the dandruff. That is growing dandruff. Okay. You see how this hair is just full and ridiculous. See the flake? Get 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 out my head. Uh, but yeah, that's dandruff. See that, that that's dandruff right there. It's growing <laughs> dandruff. Okay. Overall, you can see the puffiness. How it's sprouting out. Hair is just sprouting out. I told y'all. I told y'all from Thursday and from Saturday. I said, look at the difference on Monday. And you're going to see and you're going to feel it. I feel my hair tingling. That's why I'm like just, I'm just patting, just rubbing. It's tingling where it's growing. Nothing wrong with it. It's not itching. It's just like a tingle, tingle. Your hair is growing. As you can see, that's the kitchen <laughs> where I cut up and make up some of my ingredients. It's just tingle, tingle. Your hair is growing. <laughs> okay. So it is what it is. I'm on a second bottle. I'm probably going to have to use about seven and a half bottles, close to eight bottles to get a three month 
usage of the Hollywood hair bar. So I'll just order two more bottles, like I said. I won't take no chances in thinking, oh, seven is going to be enough. Nope. I'm going to order eight bottles. And I'm going to keep y'all posted. And I'm going to show y'all side by side. Now, once I'm done with this, I don't know. Maybe I should come back every two days like I've been doing. So y'all can see the most accurate because it seems like I'm getting the most accurate feel when I do every two days. I notice up here is a lot thicker. In here has gotten thicker. It's getting harder and harder to see my parts in my hair. Like, look at the pull, the hang time, y'all. I mean, look, y'all. Look, and if I do this and my hair is whoop, if I pull it down, you know, okay, but I'm letting it grow at its own pace, and of course, I have some wigs that I want to wear, so I'm probably going to blow it out so my homegirl can braid it up when we go on this trip, and y'all gonna see my hair blown out, which I have not straightened my hair since February of 2020. I don't even think I blew my hair out in December of 2020. <laughs> like, it, I may have when I got the weave put in. I, I might have just slightly let majority of it air dry and then blew some of it out with the cheese stuff to avoid any heat damage or anything. But other than that, no, y'all, I don't remember or recall <laughs> using heat on my hair. And that is something that I just don't use is I don't use much heat on my hair. Now, when I was relaxed, baby, I was straightening, flat earning, <laughs> relaxing. But while natural, I've been trying to get away from that. <laughs> and so I made that promise. And it's been over a year since I've straightened my hair. Now, I do have a very professional, very good, steamy flat iron, <laughs> which is amazing. So I've heard, but I have not used it yet. And I ordered that in April of last year. So yeah, I'm going to wait, okay, to use that. You probably see me pull it out next year sometime or maybe even 2023. I don't know yet, but. As long as it works. And yeah, that's all the dandruff of it growing. Just thought I'd give y'all the real tea of it growing. Um, Y'all gonna see my hair after I freshly did it Wednesday. Because, oh yeah, Wednesday I'm gonna come back on the... And I'm gonna be like, look. Look at how it's looking Wednesday. Okay? And pay attention to how it's gonna look by Sunday. Yeah. And that's all that growth. So as you see, it may look fuzzy now, but pay attention to Wednesday when I wash my hair and I do my fresh twist, how clean and pay attention to the parts and then pay attention to how it start growing in here and sprouting and sprouting and sprouting. And it's looking like I done had this in longer than I need to have it in. But it's easiest for me to put the Hollywood hair bar in each area and have it accurate when my hair is twisted up because on a wash and go I will miss some spots so this it y'all this is slowly working <laughs> slowly this is a side view I still have that hey that's going away that that that's easy this easy too this easy too this hard as hell you hear how hard that fat is but you hear how Soft is it just that hard? I don't want to leave fat. Well, damn it, you're going. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> Bye.